Hi, how's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Cesar Rodriguez. I'm a freelance photographer from Mexico and I'm going to talk about how I got to this photo which actually uh, was on assignment for the New York Times and was chosen one of the best photos of climate change in the past few years and uh, I'm going to talk about how I got to this photo. So uh, stick with me for a little bit and yeah, let's start. Okay, first, who am I? My name is Cesar Rodriguez. I'm a Mexican photographer and I, I'm a freelance here in Mexico and I've worked for publications like National Geographic, New York Times, The Washington Post, Apple TV, uh, UNICEF, The Red Cross uh, and others. And I also do documentary short films and uh, I also do a little bit of podcasting. Uh, but right now I'm going to talk about this project, this assignment. Um, I pitched this story uh, to the New York Times editor uh, because I was, um, I was looking at the news in uh, Monterrey, about Monterrey in Mexico, and I saw that they were getting without water. They were having a really bad drought and there wasn't any water in some neighborhoods. They even got to 15 days, 20 days without any kind of water. So the things were getting really, really bad in, in, in Monterrey, which is one of the biggest cities in Mexico. And so I told my editor that uh, this story was important and he right away told me, okay, uh, it's okay, uh, you can go there. Uh, and I went there for four days and I was basically, uh, touring around uh, Monterrey. I, I, before I went there, I did my research. I looked for the neighborhoods or the towns that were suffering the most. I got some interviews by phone. Uh, I got some appointments uh, by phone. And so when I got there, I rented a car and I drove to those places and I started just documenting the places. I got to talk to people. I got to, to see how things were doing because it was like chaos in some places. They were arguing, they were fighting, the police had to be there to to put order uh, so some people don't rob the water. Uh, some uh, water trucks, water pipes were given by the government. Um, but it was really, really bad. In, uh, Monterrey was in a really bad situation. So I was, I was there and at the beginning I was on the ground just uh, uh, by car and talking to people, uh, but I saw that this uh, this needed like a wider picture, something that could uh, tell the story in one photo. And so Monterrey has uh, several dams uh, where they get their water. And so I went to one of the the dams. It, it was the dam was called uh, La Boca. They usually use it as a touristic place um, because there are some boats, touristic boats that go around, they go do tours, uh, some restaurants are in the boats. So um, I was there, look, I'm going to show you right now the, like the contact sheet of that specific uh, place. So this is more or less, this is the photo that it got published, no, the ones that I chose. Um, that I choose, but you can see that there are several photos that I was looking for something. These are more or less all the, not the same, but in the same place. So I flew my drone. I have a Mini 2, a DJI Mini 2, and I just uh, tour it. I, I was looking for, for the light. I saw this light coming, so I knew that I wanted that photo and I placed the drone uh, there was this car was that was driving around because usually here it's we all complete with water. Uh, this boat got stranded because there wasn't any water there, uh, so cars were dri driving inside the dam, which was really crazy. Um, so again, I was looking for for the light, and another car. This car went, and I saw this this other truck that was coming, and so I, I just took one photo here and I wanted it a little bit further here so the composition would be better for me. And it was here uh, after the process, uh, 
I, I did some uh, editing and, and it was the, the final one. And without, this is without uh, editing. Um, and this is with editing, you know? And then I just kept a little bit flying, but I didn't manage to take a photo that I liked. This is another one that uh, almost got on the final edit, but you know, it, it wasn't, uh, I think it wasn't as strong as, as this one with the car because you can see a sense of scale, no? Um, and yeah, I, I kept flying the drone, uh, trying to find some other shots, other other photos, but uh, I think that one was the, the, the right one. Some people uh, were here taking photos because of the boat that, that was there. Uh, I also like this one because you can see the scale, people here, there's also people here, uh, these boats are also stranded, there are the restaurants. Uh, you can see like the whole thing, but I like the other one because of the light. Um, this is the other one I'm going to put side by side so you can see them both. Um, yeah, this is, this is the one that got selected and this is the other one. So um, at the end, this was the photo that I got chosen. Uh, as I said, my, my equipment for this was a Mini Drone 2, a Mini 2 for, from DJI. And these are the ones that uh, I selected for the whole, uh, for the whole assignment. Uh, this woman was getting water from a tap, illegal tap in, in Monterrey, in the outskirts of Monterrey. Uh, because they they had no water, so they had to fill these small uh, water bottles and do it like several times a day. Uh, yeah, the, the government put all these big tanks, and people were filling their their water bottles con containers um, in and out like the whole day. And I like this one also. Um, it doesn't say much, but Usually this is all filled with water and uh, because this was a very touristic place, the people uh, without water, people didn't went there, no, because there wasn't any, any, any touristic place to, to be. So the ducks, they didn't have any food, they were uh, used to people giving them food. So when somebody arrived, they just rush into them and, and this, I don't know, the, the kid and the, the hare, um, I like this one, but it wasn't selected. Uh, this is another one from a drone, uh, a bigger scale. And people were uh, trying to look for things. She was, uh, this kid was looking for things, just valuable things uh, that the uh, water left behind. Uh, also, this, these people were trying to find some metal objects. They find some knives. Um, they're actually standing in the middle of the dam. Uh, which was crazy because they're standing, they're not underwater. People just there uh, having fun. And also, as I told you, uh, I like to like details, hands, gestures. Uh, I think they say a lot. And this, this man had to carry from all the stairs to even more further uh, because there, there wasn't any water. The, the water trucks were uh, behind downstairs here. And so they had to walk. Uh, people were rushing, people were screaming at each other, pushing to get some water. Um, some water, uh, some drivers that had the, the pipes, uh, the water trucks, they were kidnapped because uh, they, the people didn't have water, so they were kidnapped, so they were pushed into some houses so they can fill the water tanks. Um, here, uh, uh, for me, it's, it, this guy is, is like, uh, Paying or praying and offering from from uh, to get some water, but well, it's just the hands, the the gesture. No? Uh, the lines were really really big, um, and yeah, they, they were using anything, uh, cooking pots, uh, trash containers, um, yeah, just whatever they can get. This was from chloro uh, chloride, and they were using this. Uh, 
yeah, they were screaming because somebody was uh, getting in line. Um, I, I liked also this this photo because there's a lot of things happening. This guy, uh, this woman is is guarding all the water containers. Uh, this woman is walking by. Um, also, this one, the police is is guarding this truck because the at the beginning the the neighbors were were har harassing the the driver. Again, hand gestures. Uh, and this was actually the front page of the New York Times in, during that day. Um, yeah, they were waiting in line. This, this uh, kid got the, uh, the water tank, water bottle uh, full, so she was going home. Again, gestures, uh, getting water. People were getting angry, anxious because there wasn't any, there wasn't enough water. And this, all this uh, grass that you see underneath, there's a big, huge tank that it was empty, and it was getting when it was filled, there was uh, it was water for this uh, neighborhoods here, and it was night and day, the whole 24 hours, people were getting were trying to get water, so uh, water pipes were arriving late night, again arguing, discussing, because people were getting in line. Uh, it was chaos, long lines. Um, and yeah, this is the story. Um, if, you, if you enjoy it, please uh, comment, uh, please like, please subscribe. Um, and I will be talking more, so my, my native language is Spanish, so I will upload videos in English and in Spanish. Um, if you think that I should talk about one specific photo that I have, I'm going to link you my, my web address and also my Instagram account. So you can put the link in it and I will talk about that photo. So yeah, please subscribe um, and see you in the, in the next one. Thank you.